So I got to ship out about 40 whatnot auctions. Yeah, I did some video games, some DVDs, stuff like that. Things that got to go in boxes. I do a lot of online arbitrage, eBay to Amazon. So I normally have lots of boxes, but if I'm doing like 200 eBay auctions that end on like 50 on Thursday, 50 on Friday, 50 on Saturday, 50 on Sunday, or I did a bunch of whatnot auctions, uh, I don't have the boxes for that. Now for bigger boxes, like for golf clubs or VCRs, I buy those online because the in-person price is crazy. I was talking to Josh, Harry Tornado, you might know him as. And I think he told me that they were charging like 35 bucks for a big box. I remember one time I shipped a bicycle and that was like $75 for the box. They were asking for that. I didn't pay that for it, I bought it online. Um, but for small boxes for like six by six by six boxes or 12 by seven by six. We'll see sizes in a second. Um, you can buy them online or you can buy them at Walmart. And unless you're buying pallets, which I'm not doing right now, I'm just buying, I mean, even caseloads up to like 300. Walmart sells them at essentially the same price when you take into account shipping and all the other stuff you might have to worry about. I think they're loss leaders here at Walmart right now. I think they're loss leaders here. So I'm gonna go into this Walmart and I'm gonna show you the things that I buy, the boxes, the supplies I buy, because there's only like four or five, but it is good to know what makes sense to buy here at Walmart uh, and what makes sense to buy online. First, let's see what sports cards they have. I think Prism Football is supposed to come out today, but I, yeah, they all got bought or it's not here yet. I think they're overproducing cards. Panini is. But that's just me. This is so weird compared to like a year ago when there were no cards. Now they're just like thrown, <laughs> thrown up like that. We got Prism Draft Picks Baseball, but no, no Prism Football. Which I wasn't really expecting. That's not why I came here. So we're in the home office section and it's pretty simple what we're gonna get. Just like three main things. So the bubble wrap, if you need it, uh, but mostly what I'm packing with now is this. There's a larger one that costs $9. I have this at my warehouse. It's, um, I think it's 500 sheets. Uh, you can also get this craft paper. Is this it right here? Yeah, this is it. But it's, so it's 220 sheets. I used this for most of my void filler. Bubble wrap, if I'm shipping glass and I want to like stay firm, stay like in a single position, but if I'm just trying to fill up void so it doesn't jangle around in the box, then I'll buy this. And I'll get one, why not right now? The other thing I'm buying here is these boxes. The brand is, it's like pen and gear, I think. Um, yeah, 68 cents for a six by six by six shipper. And if you buy those in bulk, you're paying like 58 cents, but you also pay shipping. So it kinda, kinda evens out. So I'm gonna pick up probably 10 of these, 10 of these 11 by seven and a half by five and a half, and probably 10 of those. And they're pretty much um, for orders below 300 boxes, I would assume. I don't know, I'm just kind of spitballing there. I think this is gonna be your best bet. So if you're doing, you know, thousands of orders a month, by all means, buy pallets of boxes. But for most people, this is probably your best bet because I think, I may have mentioned this earlier, I think these are loss leaders for Walmart. I don't think they make much money on these boxes. You can even, I mean, I use the medium boxes too, but for shipping, these three, handle, uh, they can handle most things. I'm also generally gonna be buying shipping tape here. It's about 40 cents a roll cheaper online for just like lightweight packing tape. If you're doing large boxes that weigh 20 or 40 pounds, like Amazon FBA uh, shipment boxes, I would use this, like a more expensive, thicker tape. But for just like one pound or two pound boxes, this is gonna be fine. And that's pretty much the extent of what I'm buying at Walmart. Everything else is better to buy online. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up uh, and don't be a shithead. See you guys later.